bond valuation first in the bond valuation we will see some definitions what do you mean by bond bond is a debt instrument normally government sector companies public sector companies government agencies and well reputed companies they utilize this method to mobilize fund from the public for value or face value this is the value stated on the face of the bond okay the the face value is the amount which is the issuing company is going to borrow from the investor and they are going to repay it repay it at the time of redemption coupon rate is nothing but interest rates okay at a periodical intervals the coupon payment will be paid to the investor the coupon payment will be calculated on the par value the formula is par value into coupon rate that will be coupon payment or otherwise it is called annuity value maturity period means duration of the bond for example if a company is going to issue 10 year bond the duration of the bond is 10 years but in the problem when we are uh, purchasing a bond after issue of the bond for example it's a 10 year bond already 6 year gone now the investor is going to purchase the bond now the years left to maturity is only 4 years this 4 years only we have to consider for decision making purpose yield or yield to maturity this is nothing but internal rate of return the interest rate that makes the present value of the cash flows receivable from the bond equal to the price of the bond so what are the amount we are going to get from the bond the annuity amount that is coupon payment we are going to receive every year or semi annually for this we have to calculate present value and at the time of redemption we are going to get a lump sum for that lump sum also we have to calculate present value so these two present values that is present value of the coupon plus present value of the lump sum which is which we are going to receive at the time of redemption this one side we have to keep the other side we have to keep the purchase price of the bond the rate which equals both these amount is called yield to maturity that is oitm what is bond value bond value equal to present value of the coupon payment plus present value of the lump sum which we are going to receive at the time of maturity of the bond here in this context we have to remember the inverse relationship between the interest rate and the bond prices the interest rate and the present values okay whenever interest rates increase the bond price will get decreased or vice versa the same way whenever interest rate increase the present values will get decreased and vice versa this is the formula for bond valuation the c is the coupon amount that is the interest amount which we are going to receive from the bond and 1 minus 1 by 1 plus or whole power t divided by r this part is called present value of the annuity then 
plus f divided by 1 plus r whole power t. The f equal to the lump sum which we are going to receive at the time of maturity. This is getting discounted by r. r is nothing but OITM. So, in this formula, the OITM rate is used to discount the annuity values and the amount which we are going to receive at the time of redemption. Now, we will see the relationship between OITM and the coupon rate. If the OITM equal to coupon rate, then the par value will be equal to bond price. Okay. If the OITM is more than the coupon rate, then the par value will be more than the bond price. If the OITM is less than the coupon rate, then the par value will be less than the bond price. This relationship we have to study carefully because at the time of doing advanced problems, this will be very much useful to us. Now we will see a small problem. See in this problem, the par value of the bond that is face value is thousand dollar the coupon rate that is the interest rate is 10 percent each and the bond has five years to maturity okay. see clearly we have to see five years to maturity the duration of the bond may be 10 years also but here when we are purchasing the bond is having bond is having only five years to maturity so that five years we have to consider here then the yield to maturity YTM they have given as 11 percentage what is the value of the bond so bond value formula we have seen bond value equal to present value of the annuity that is present value of the coupon payment plus present value of the lump sum which we are going to receive at the time of redemption so the formula is present value of annuity plus present value of the lump sum now we are going to fit, fit the figures into the formula. 100 is 10 percentage on 1000 dollar that is 100 open rate and uh, for this we are going to find present value plus present value of the lump sum because 1000 dollar we are going to receive at the time of redemption. So the resultant figure is 963.04. This is the bond valuation. This 963.04 is the purchase price for the investor.